Talking about what we're doing. Talking about what we're doing. Talking about what we're doing. Here's this, right? There's this guy that I really like, um, a DJ who I discovered during the pandemic. The pandemic was a weird time for everybody that was DJing or trying to p- pursue some sort of career because unfortunately, hospitality industry was the first industry that basically got closed down. It was the first to close, the last to reopen, basically. And it was a bit of a brutal thing to take. And a lot of people, you know, I, I was crying about it myself because, like I said before, I had a semi-decent, very low-level amateur sort of, like, run that I was going on where I was playing, you know, three times a week and stuff on a regular basis. I had some warehouse parties I was playing at. Everything was going pretty well. And as soon as the pandemic hit, it stopped it. But if I thought, if I thought, if I thought I was having a hard time, just imagine people who are like far higher than me on that kind of ladder trying to get this career up and going, right? It must have been such a weird place to be to suddenly you feel like you're about to get somewhere. You might get your first nightclub booking or your first festival thing and then suddenly, bang, the pandemic hits. So a lot of those people um, was kind of struggling to figure out what to do because their whole careers and lives got turned upside down. But some of them figured it out. And one of the people I think kind of figured it out in the pandemic is this guy called Patrick Mason, who I have a lot of time for. I think when I first sort of like stumbled across him, he kind of reminded me a lot of like Iggy Pop in terms of how he performs, in terms of how he uses his body behind the decks, in terms of how physical he is and everything. But now I just think he's just a performer in general. And, and what you would, I would say is a quintessential artist in terms of like, Maybe the term DJ is a little bit, is a little bit, what's the thing called? Restrictive. It kind of puts him in a bit of a pigeonhole, but you can definitely see a scope for more things. You can definitely see an avenue where he becomes somebody that kind of, you know, gets in front of a microphone and sings and raps. I don't know, maybe it's Eve's Timor style, maybe it's actually classical singing. Who knows what it'll be, but it'll be more than just playing songs, um, you know, other people's songs on a deck or whatever, which isn't bad, but there's definitely more scope that he has because I can tell maybe he used to be a professional dancer answer maybe just really enthusiastic about it he obviously looks good in clothes he looks good with no clothes on clearly so all that stuff works but one thing that really kind of made me um take notice was how he would perform behind the decks itself right he used to kind of the first time especially when you think of somebody from berlin you just think of somebody not to not to slight him you know because he's a legend but you think of like a surgeon head down just staring at the flipping machine no interaction with the flipping crowd right and for the first time, somebody from Berlin I saw was really like, was really kind of expressive with their body, was really dancing, was really vibing and having a good time and stuff. And it was really refreshing to see. But now this guy has evolved the performance. So when I saw him first, I think I discovered Patrick Mason, maybe through Hall, that online um, Berlin radio station, or sorry, but online live streaming platform for DJs that absolutely blew up during the pandemic and now it's doing absolutely amazing things. It's basically, you know, Berlin's version of Boiler Room and some more, but it's really kind of tightly run and a bit more grassroots than what maybe Boiler Room turned into be. And he kind of blew up from there and he was also doing his own thing, live streaming on his Instagram account, blah, 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 all amazing. And then over time, I think he was also at this other party. I forgot the name of it. I think it was like Prozilam Bar or something. I remember him doing a couple of things there, et cetera, et cetera. But the performances behind the decks have become really, really something to behold. And I think this really kind of, if anything, makes everybody want to step their game up. Because if I think, sometimes I think I'm doing too much when I'm just doing a little two-step or I shuffle my shoulders. I think I'm doing too much, right? I think maybe I should chill out. I'm being, you know, I'm, I'm performing, I'm playing up to, I'm being a character. But actually, if you think about it, especially nowadays, considering how little people go outside and the fact that people want to make, you know, that they want to make the experience that they do go outside worth it and actually worthwhile and feel like they haven't wasted their money, actually giving them some level of performance might be the actual key to kind of unlocking, um, you know, the whatever the pleasure receptors in people's brains when they're going out so they're not thinking they're wasting any money and this is a good example this is a video clip taken from patrick mason's instagram account where he's performing and let's just say it's very 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 interesting in case you can't see this he's standing on top of the table where the decks are very expensive decks he's standing on that table with a very expensive outfit on arms splayed out like an electronic music flipping savior or something. For some reason, he's also aligned to all the flipping LEDs and lights coming out from that table. Crazy.
what's happening here? We have to start again. Oh, let's start it again because I don't know what's happening. My computer's going ga ga goo goo. Dance, man. His body's moving, it's shaking, swaying left to right. Ooh. Okay, he's dancing on top of the table. If you can't see the video, he looks amazing on the table. Lasers coming right behind him. On beat, of course. The crowd patiently waiting for the tune to drop. There we go. Performance with a capital P. I love it. I don't care. I flipping love it. When you when you have a whole industry of people, right, who legitimately do their best to look bored behind the booth. That's the thing you have to imagine. DJs for the most part are kind of similar to comedians. They're fucking bitches they're moany cry baby bitches always moaning i've got to play four gigs in one weekend they're flying me out private on the plane i don't want to be here i want to be with my boyfriend and my girlfriend i don't want to be earning 30 grand playing other people's songs and just pressing play and cue and pause no they're always moaning right they don't really put on any kind of a show some of them are playing the same set back to back right they're not even changing the flipping playlist of what they're playing based on their location they're not even fixing you know, editing things on the sly or trying to you know do little chops and changes or making little runaways and edits in the in the hotel room as they wait before their gig they're not doing none of that they're not even going record hunting in the local stores to give their stores a bit of hype and a little bit of a buzz and whatnot and maybe get some tunes that are maybe you know um local to that area so they can play it and blow people's minds nah they're just copy and pasting the same set they play in flipping paris to bogota to flipping you know somewhere in chile whatever it may be and at least at least with flipping patrick mason you know number one guy cares about his image so he's keeping himself in tip-top condition he's wearing all the latest garments right he's plugged in with the fashion world always flying off to fashion weeks paris all over the place whatever it may be to go over there friends with the people in margella and doing great things there clearly and can dance his ass off so at least at least we're seeing something behind the booth so if you are paying to go see patrick mason perform in a nightclub you're paying what anywhere between 20 dollars to $50 to perform you know you're gonna get a show if it's not Patrick Mason dancing it's some performers being on stage there maybe some little drag show maybe a little strip tease some sort of performance dance whatever expressive dance whatever it may be you're getting a performance you're not just gonna see someone there clad in black Rick Owens staring you know glumly at a flipping mixer you're gonna get someone actually having some fun and I love that about Patrick Mason I love that about him and I think it's great to see that element come back into flipping dance music and hopefully it becomes a thing now you don't need to be as expressive as him maybe you think he's too much and you maybe think he's like the male chloe bailey or something right he's always doing the most and stuff but you can tell a theater kid when you see a theater kid this guy's been performing since day dot i'm sure he's got pictures of himself on stage someone when he's five years old doing the most everywhere it's just the way he is but i think it could also be synthesized it could be kind of done in your own way you have to be on a table but you can throw up the odd arm when you're playing why not throw up one arm why not just have one arm in the air why does two arms need to be right there on the mixer why not even connect and look at somebody in the eye why not smile why not wave at somebody do something do something because these days people aren't coming out as they used to they're not coming out of that anymore so if they are not coming out of that anymore and they want to make sure that their 50 dollars or 50 pounds is being spent at the right place and they get their money's worth provide them with a performance and i feel like patrick mason provides these people with a performance and you can see it from the joy in the band's face when he's performing behind the decks you can see he is where he needs to be and clearly the crowd are responding in the right ways also look at these videos Now, is the music for me? 
Obviously not. Probably not. Not my kind of vibe. But still, I appreciate the guy all along. I appreciate the guy all along. So yeah, check out Patrick Mason if you haven't already. Um, definitely one of my favorites. Definitely somebody that I kind of keep an eye on from afar to see what he's doing performance-wise, to see what he's doing in terms of a vibe, in terms of a being a person, blah de, blah 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 and see how I can kind of interpret it and mix it and dabble it in the stuff that I do myself. It's a bit, I'm a bit far off from that sort of thing, but I love to see. And also you can tell he's somebody that's kind of come from what I would call humble beginnings, right? The person playing in local bars, going to plain lounge bars, doing the odd warehouse party here and there, getting an agent or booking person maybe later, and then doing some brand deals. And then suddenly now, boom, the guy's touring and it looks like he's never not touring somewhere, which is absolutely crazy. Actually, I want to see. Let's actually see this guy's touring schedule because it feels like he's everywhere. Whenever I go on Instagram, this guy's always flipping, traveling in some mad, mad place. So let's see. Patrick Mason's artist profile on RA. Let's see how booked and busy Big PM is. Of course, look at that. Booked and busy. Look at the scroll. God damn. Blessings on blessings on blessings. So he's got, so what? look at this already. Jesus Christos playing. So today he's in Budapest. Uh, tomorrow is Sicily. Then the following weekend is Berlin. Then Paris. Then Madrid. Then Lisbon. Then Latvia. Then, what's that? I don't know what that is. That's been Northern Italy. Then Basel. Uh, that's what I guess Italy or Mexico, then Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo in Brazil, then Greece, then Amsterdam, then Manchester, then Belgium, Bavaria, Glasgow, Hangover, Dortmund, other regions. God damn, passport stays stamped up because guess what? He doesn't mind lifting his hands in the air, he doesn't mind shaking his hips. And look what happens passport gets stamped up stamped up stamped up so yeah big up big pm we love to see it we love to absolutely see it i love to see it actually and it's very very inspiring for the stuff that i'm doing i find that stuff very inspiring 